How did Cooper DeGene go from dominating in four sports in high school to now getting drafted in the NFL? DeGene grew up in Old Bull, Iowa, a small town with less than a thousand residents and not a single stoplight, a town that very rarely produces Division I athletes. But DeGene was an outlier. He played any sport he could growing up and played four when he arrived at OAB CIG High School. Yes, that was the name of his high school. He was a three-time All-State player in football, won two state championships, and played multiple positions, excelling at quarterback. On the basketball court, he had 1,832 career points, and his highlights are ridiculous. They're Mac McClung-esque. He received three letters in baseball, which he played in the summer, and he was a state champion his senior year in long jump and the 100-meter dash. The Gene was a freak athlete, but even with all of this, he may have never been noticed if not for a former resident of his town and family friend looking out for him. This friend happened to live next to Tyler Barnes, the director of recruiting for Iowa, and he kept telling his friend that there was a player in his former town that they should look into. Barnes was not convinced, at first telling his friends that no D1 athletes come out of Old Bowl, but after watching Cooper's film, he realized he was different. Cooper visited Iowa multiple times, and they eventually figured out a position he would play at the next level, and he was offered. He committed, over all offers to play quarterback at smaller schools. And DeGene did not play right away at Iowa, but when he got his chance, he started to shine on special teams and as a cornerback. NFL scouts will have differing opinions if he should play corner or safety at the next level. But if there's one thing they can and we can all agree on, Cooper is a first round talent and it's going to be awesome to watch him in the league.